While I found the clown freaky in Brave Little Toaster, upon rewatches, I realized more and more that the radiator literally getting himself so angry at other people having hope to the point where he gives himself a stroke and dies was one of those f***ed up things for me as oh, a kid God, to understand. Yeah. I, I remember went, that as a kid. It that was me. stressing. I, I remember what sets him off. It, it's literally that they say, you're just Master upset because he played with us while you're, oh, stuck, you're stuck in the stuck wall. In the wall. It's, like, it's so not my fault! It's my fault! And he blows up. And he dies. And like, as a kid going, what just happened? <laughs> it's a first kid's movie where someone accidentally gives themselves an aneurysm. It's, it sounds like he needed a lot of therapy. I guess this is kind of spoilish for Little Toaster. But like at the end, like when he gets repaired and like you just see like the, the tears on his face. That, that he, cries. He, cries. he cries. He cries. He doesn't even have any lines of dialogue. It's just casually. his facial expression. And it's just, oh my God. They were right. He was wrong. And it was like, but he can't even, it, it's just, it, but he's happy, but he's unhappy because it's like, there's so much complicated emotion in that movie. Yeah. That movie f***ed me up. I remember the entire musical number about cars waiting to die. Oh my yeah. God. Worthless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>